Hello everybody, my name is BDF018 and welcome back to a brand new Speed Champions build. Today, product 76921's Audi S1 e-tron Quattro, a long name and a good looking car. This is very pretty and I absolutely love the box for this set. Just look how bright and vibrant it is. So cool. To build two of the latest Speed Champions releases is this lovely Audi S1 e-tron Quattro. It is a lovely looking box. Like I just said, it is very bright. He's driving in the snow up in the Alps. Is this France? Is this the Swiss Alps? I don't know. We have the Audi logo, Speed Champions, a lovely front view of the car racing in the snow with 9 plus 76921 in the name. On the top, we have a side view of the car, the checkered flag, Speed Champs logo, and a one to one of the tire and wheel. This side is the Speed Champs logo. This side is a car view and another Speed Champs logo. On the bottom is legal stuff, and on the back, some more views, including the real car, a bird's eye view, and a rear view of the S1. This cost me £20.99 in my latest Lego haul for all the March 1st releases and comes in at 274 pieces over 97 steps. So divide 274 by 97, you get roughly 2.8 pieces on average per section for this build. This is a very nice looking car. Let's look at it as a considerable amount of stickers. Let's open this box, get to the contents and get to today's build. And here ends everything for LEGO product 76921's Audi S1 e-tron Quattro Speed Champions, including the return of the Eco Paper Bags, bags one and two, our loose frame, a sticker sheet with 31 numbered stickers, and our instruction sheet. One. Here's everything for the first bag of the build, including the loose parts and two mini bags. This is our LEGO figurine for this build. It sports a e-tron kit. Black helmets, grey overalls, very nice. the bag one for the Audi S1 e-tron quattro and here's how we're looking the whole rear end has been completed the middle and the front is to come in bag two 
nice big fat rear wing which just sat on very nicely and the rear complexion is complete. They're very much like this. The big e-tron wing that's very nice. A lot of stickers gone on, maybe about 10 stickers so far. I think it's about 13 actually have gone on so far. This is taking about 30 minutes to get to this part. It's not been too bad. Very easy, very simple to follow. Not difficult at all. We have seven spares from the first bag or little pieces. Nothing big, just small pieces as you'd expect. Moving swiftly on then to the second part of the build. Bag number two. Here's everything for bag two with more loose parts and two more mini bags. Here's the full and complete build for LEGO Product 76921's Audi S1 e-tron Quattro and man what a build. Really really fun from start to finish this is a very good build, very easy and I believe it's longer than regular speed chance because of this front splitter. Here's last week's build, the Mustang Dark Horse and yes it is very slightly longer but very slightly, maybe like half a centimetre. 
But anyway, let's have a little look at this. This took about an hour to build in total. This is a very straightforward and simple build. Nothing complicated about this in the slightest. She drives beautifully back and forth as you should. Everything goes together well. Everything goes together smoothly. The front, I really, really like the front of this and the rear. I love how sleek this looks. It's a great little design, this. For what the pieces are, this has gone together very well. It looks fantastic. The stickers have all gone on brilliantly. One thing I must say, Lego, lean more towards the printed pieces, in my opinion. The stickers are cool and that, and I know it adds the uniqueness to that person's build. But in the same breath, just give us some more printed pieces more often, please. That's just my personal opinion. I think that these are freaking awesome. The Audi logos look really nice on this. It's very tastefully done. A great set. We're very much looking forward to our next build, which will be the F1 McLaren. Another nine spares from this bag. I believe that makes 16 spares. I think it was seven from the first bag. I could be wrong. So roughly, let's say 260 odd pieces on this car. We have plenty more to come from Speed Champions and from the brand new Technic releases after Speed Champions is done. Make sure to subscribe, keep post notifications on so you know when the latest LEGO Fridays come out. As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Would you buy and or build this set? Is this on your list for 2024? Or is this not really your kind? Do you prefer different things? Are you a creator? Are you an ideas? Are you a flowers? Let me know. But that said, I've been BDFO18. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next build. Take care.